live. We are live uh, for SmackDown Live. Um, and I'm a little bit distracted because I really feel like there's something massive I haven't done, like in preparation for the stream. Uh, everything's set up, but I'm just like, I'm thinking in the back of my head, have I done this? Have I done that? Have I done this? There's like a million things I have to do before I stream, like a checklist. I should write it down. I need to write it down. Um, but anyway, I think we're okay. I can see the cameras on. I can see the microphones on. The chat will join us soon enough. Uh, I hope everyone is well. As we said, this is Wrestling Days Live for SmackDown Live. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's going to be a very eventful show. I honestly don't know what else they could have shoehorned into yesterday's Raw. Uh, we obviously had Braun Strowman flipping over the limo. We had the new women's tag titles. We had Braun being removed from the Royal Rumble Championship match. We had Finn Balor earning the right to go into that championship match. We had Bobby Lashley become the brand new Intercontinental Champion. We had Alexa Bliss in a slight wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> we had Otis Dojovic who just broke the internet with his pretty ladies catchphrase. Um, so there was an awful lot of stuff that was like going on. Um, and then obviously matches on top of that. Um, quite a tense interaction between Ronda and Sasha as well. So... Yeah, I mean, look, if we get just half of that for SmackDown, I'll be pleased. Um, not sure what the show's going to have in store. Um, it took me ages and ages to actually edit today's video. It's a video I've been meaning to make for quite some time. It was like a potential surprises uh, video uh, for the Royal Rumble. Um, 20 legends that could, could appear in that Royal Rumble match, the men's match. Um, I could try and do it for the women, but honestly, I'm not sure what women really are left to surprise us because they put a lot in last year's. Like the first one, there was a lot in that, legends-wise. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to uh, have to see. Uh, Otis on Wheel of Fun, yes. Otis is on the Wheel of Fun. Um, I don't know what happens if it lands on it. Uh, hey days, Mrs. May needs to resign. Uh, I'm not sure she needs to resign. I actually feel quite sorry for her because, uh, this has got nothing to do with wrestling, but man, that is a, that is a tough job. That is a tough job, whether you like her or not. It doesn't matter who's in that position. It's a tough job. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you heard, but full on drama here in the UK, uh, as, uh, well, just drama. Uh, Aloe got replaced. Aloe was replaced by Otis. Gary North is here. Hello, my friend. Hope you are well. Akeel, I just finished watching Raw. I thought it was a great show. I was never bored. Um, okay. I, I, to be honest, I gave it a 7.5. It was great, but... The matches let it down. The the, the in-ring action just wasn't there for me. Um, the main event was all right. There was just nothing that was, I don't know, perhaps I wasn't in the right frame of mind. I don't know. But the in-ring action really needs to get sorted out. I would say that's one of their biggest problems right now um, is that every match just feels the same. Like if you see a big superstar you should be seeing some moves that you wouldn't normally see. But really, what what does Braun Strowman do that you don't see anyone else do? What does Braun Strowman do that you don't see Finn Balor do? That you don't see Seth Rollins do? That you don't see Mustafa Ali do? They all do the same moves. They've all got the same move set. The matches all feel very similar. Um, when it's time for a match, you could be watching Jinder Mahal versus Kurt Hawkins. Or you could be watching... You know, Mustafa Ali against AJ Styles. The thing with Mustafa Ali is he does bring something different. He has got a few flips and tricks in his arsenal. Uh, Spanish fly being one. I, I can't recall seeing anyone else do a Spanish fly. Um, but Mustafa Ali does the Spanish fly. Um, people like Daniel Bryan don't care 
uh, which is fine. That's part of their character. Daniel Bryan doesn't want to entertain us, and that's absolutely fine. But it just puts pressure on the faces. Um, it puts pressure on the baby faces, on the good guys, to actually deliver some, you know, good in-ring work. I think with WWE, you can't just be solid in ring. You can't put on a, a decent match. That's not good enough. You've got to be innovative. You've got to be coming up with different things. And, you know, wrestling's been around a long time. How do you come up with something different? I think part of the problem is that they only tend to have, say, 50 moves. I'm pretty sure I could write down 50 moves, and that would be pretty much all the moves you see on TV. You might get, like, the Falcon Arrow from Seth. Uh, finishers, obviously, everyone's got a different finisher, but I'm just talking, like, the proper matches. I just feel like it needs needs something else. Um, did you know Finn versus Brock was the plan all along? I heard that was the rumour. I think Dave Meltzer said it. I think someone else said it in the chat. Might have been Cal. Uh, hey days, title shot. I don't just give them out, my friend. It's all done by the word thing. And of course, the Alexa Bliss viral backstage segment. Yeah, I, you know what? I didn't see actually how many views that got. When I went to bed last night, I did look because I was interested to see a lot of people saying, why did they do it? And everyone online was like, they were doing it for YouTube views. They were doing it for that. So I did check and it had done a million. Uh, it had done a million views. Uh, so let's have a look and see what it's on now because that was earlier, a lot earlier. It is on 2.3 million views uh, in less than 24 hours, which is pretty good going uh i think it makes it the highest rated segment braun Strowman flip put the oh my god braun Strowman flipping the limo 2.4 million views alexa bliss doing this yeah 2.3 apparently alexa bliss wearing just as much clothing as she wrestles in like you didn't see anything Extra, there was nothing there that you've not seen before. And I'm not saying there should be. I'm just saying that I don't think it was that good a segment. Uh, I don't see why that many people are getting giddy. I mean, literally, the thumbnail is as good as it gets um, on on this video. In fact, the thumbnail is all you could pretty much see anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 2.4 million. Just think, just think how much money a limo costs. They had to buy a limo. They then had to set up the whole angle of flipping the limo over and all that kind of stuff. And that got them 2.4 million views so far. Alexa Bliss, 2.3. It's, it's, um, that's crazy. Cra for all you fans of nudity out there, this has got to be good news because surely they're looking at this going, oh, okay, okay. So that's what they want. Uh, Scarlet in Impact is dragging women's wrestling. That who is she? What is she? I don't watch Impact. Days I was on the set of EastEnders filming a drug storyline and Haley Slater argument when I found out the vote we went out the EU. Are you talking about today or a few years ago? Uh, How would you feel about Kyrie Sane and Io Shirai going after the women's tag titles? I would love it, but I don't see it happening. It doesn't look like NXT is involved. They've said it's going to be three teams from Raw, three teams from SmackDown, um, and there was no mention of NXT. Fans don't want PG anymore. That is that is true. Uh, using her good looks to get over. Oh, okay. Days Otis versus Buddy Murphy. Winner gets to take Alexa Bliss home. Well, Otis is going out with Mandy Rose, I was told. Uh, wrestler gets caught wearing only a bra 2.3. Uh, it wasn't, dude, it wasn't just a bra. It, was, it wasn't even that. It wasn't even that. She was wearing way more than just a bra. 
Uh, that is NXT women getting their own tag title. Oh, is that true? I've not heard this. I've not heard this. Honestly, it's taken me all day to edit the Royal Rumble video that went up. So if uh, if there's been an announcement made, then that has passed me by. Uh, let's have a look and see. Has that been officially announced? I don't think... I'm, I'm just so behind on everything. I'm a bit behind on my Twitter notifications and all that kind of stuff. Um... Finn Balor, blah, 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 fighting my family. Uh, the other one I can't say. Not officially. Oh, okay. Okay, good. That saves me looking. I was about to look. Um, okay, well, that's quite interesting. Have they got enough women down in... An, I suppose they... Have they? I don't feel like they've got a big enough roster down in NXT for women's tag titles. Have they got enough women? Have they counted? Women, come here, women, get here. Oh, we've only got seven. <laughs> Otis, you're going to have to be a woman now. Happy birthday to Ramich. Is it Ramich or Ramich? I'm going to say Ramich. Uh, Damon LFC, hello, May Young signings and Viper. Oh, okay. Okay. Days, remember the naughty schoolboys last night? The naughty... Oh, yes. You talking about uh, Michael Cole and Corey Graves when it clipped? That was the best part of it. So you saw Alexa holding her top up like this, and she was like, can you just get out, please? Right? And that's not, literally that, nothing happened. It's not even worth watching. But then when it clipped back to the commentary, you've got Corey Graves like... It was like all their Christmases had arrived at once. Uh, Days, can I defend now? Not yet, my friend. Not yet. We are two minutes away from the start of the show. Uh, and you know how the shows have been starting. They have been starting hot. If I thought we were just going to get a boring promo, then yes. But I honestly don't know what's going to happen. Last night on Raw, we obviously had Vince McMahon rolling up. The week before, we had that fight between Seth and Drew. Was it Seth and Drew or Seth and Bobby? It was Seth and Bobby. That didn't go anywhere, did it? Apart from Bobby interfering in the main event, but seems like all was forgotten this week. Uh, oh my God, they've changed Almas' name. What? What is happening? Where are you getting this info? The show's not started. Corey Graves cheating on Mandy Rose. Days, are you doing 205 Live later? No. Has it moved this week? I knew it was moving. I didn't realise it was this week. He's now just Andrade. Ah, that's horrible, is he? He's now just Andrade. Ah. Oh, I don't like it. Rey Mysterio against Andrade. Cien Almas. Oh, I don't like it. Look on WWE.com. Well, I expect them to just be there going, we're very sorry, but we've messed up one of the best superstars by taking out the CN, which means 100. Mysterio and Andrade's thrilling rivalry continues. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Yeah, yeah, true. They are just calling him Andrade. And Andrade made his... Blah, blah, blah. Andrade, Andrade, Andrade. And Andrade. Let's click on, let's click on Andrade and see what it, yeah, look at that. Oh, my, oh, my days. There he is. Look, there's Andrade. Oh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened. I thought they were meant to be listening to us. No one was asking for that. Right, my friends, we are going over live to SmackDown Live. Dun, 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 dun. What's next in Cara becoming Cara? <laughs> yeah. Cara, Mysterio, 
Andrade. Ru Rusev. Look, another car! Becky Lynch this time! Becky Lynch is Braun Strowman going to flip that over as well. Is there going to be any damage done to that vehicle? The man is here, ladies and gentlemen. Becky Chan. Yeah, that is a stupid question. Becky, I think, is making her way to the ring. Oh, Otis is here! Otis! 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 Yep! Yep! He's with the New Day. That's where Otis should be. Look at that. Oh, Big E's like... Ah, uh, oh, I don't know what he's drinking. Oh yeah! <laughs> What's Becky want? Becky drinking. Oh yeah! He, he reminds me, we don't have it in the UK, but do you know, oh here she comes, look at that, that's a pretty, that's a pretty hot start, that is a great way to start the show, little bit of backstage and then walk straight out, so look at that, here she is, that is great, that is really great, um, yeah, what is that cup? What is that Kool-Aid? You know, it's like a a jug and it's got a, a liquid in it and it's an advert. And it doesn't he I remember him in Family Guy, is it? He bursts through the wall and he goes, Oh yeah! That reminds me of what Otis is. But I can't remember what it's called. Kool-Aid Man. Is that what it is? Kool-Aid Man. Bursts through and he goes, Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, Shane McMahon's birthday, bestie birthday bash, cool aid. Oh, okay. We don't have it here. Uh, I, I don't even know what it is. The only reason I know it is I think Family Guy. It was either Family Guy or Simpsons, but I think it was Family Guy. Becky. Becky. Right, Becky's in the ring. Oh, I need to change this at the top. It is a... Becky Lynch. Promo. Uh, Asuka's got it. She talks a lot. I don't know, like, if getting her to cut these kind of promos is right, if I'm being honest. I just feel like she's great on social media. She's got a great look. Love the whole man thing. But then she just cuts these promos. Do you know what I mean? Like, the crowd are... Do you know, like, when Stone Cold came out, you'd be like, What? What? Like that, you don't get anything like that with Becky. She needs something there. She needs a cool, like, stunner as well. Like a move she can just do. I feel like she's telling me a story. I feel like it's bedtime. 
and it's like, Asuka walked in, indestructible. Oh, did she? What happened next? <laughs> I honestly think Becky Lynch could tell the best bedtime stories ever. But that's not what I feel I need from her. She talks too much. Here comes Asuka. Ask her. Days, I remember years ago, a rumour was Vince was buying new cars. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Bet he's glad he didn't. Uh, see you later, Electric Mudkip. WWE story time with Becky Lynch, yes. I feel like she, she's, she's very emotive. Like when she tells her stories, she's like, she, she puts emotion into it. She talks too much. Just because they give her 10 minutes of promo time doesn't mean she needs to talk for 10 minutes. She should be, like, playing off the crowd, stuff like that, you know? Right, Asuka's in. Let's see what Asuka's got to say. You like talk? <laughs> You're like a bee. All buzz, but no sting. I like that. It's all right. Asuka saying, you will not be in Charlotte's shadow. You will be in mine. Here come the Iconics. Yes. They are definitely competing for those tag titles, aren't they? Definitely. I should imagine they've got big smiles on their faces. Well, they have. I'm looking at them right now. Oh, no, no, no. Where's the dignity? The Iconics are asking. Uh, they better be dead. I'm sure they will. See you later, heel bit. I love the Iconics entrance music. It's so good. It is very good. Hope we get Iconic figures. We will. Definitely we will. We've never had a Peyton Royce, have we? I can't think of a Peyton Royce figure. I feel like we were meant to get one. I'm not sure. A lot of talking. Oh. They're talking about being the first women's tag team champs. Did they say the first ever? Did they say the first ever women's tag team champs? I don't think so, ladies. I don't think so. I don't think you'll find there were others. Becky saying to Asuka, you want to know what the buzz is about? Well, I'll show you. Thing is, didn't we see a couple of weeks Charlotte beat both of these on her own? She had a match against one and then had a match against the second one. 
So this doesn't prove anything. Mm, bit frustrating again, in my opinion. Um, I feel like I feel like oh, I feel like Becky is trying too hard, and that sounds crazy thing to say, but with her promos, she puts a lot of emotion into it when she talks, um, and just because she can go out there for ten minutes doesn't mean she needs to fill those 10 minutes with talking like she can she needs a little catchphrase you know like the yes chant stuff like that she could kind of do with something like that kind of you know i was saying with stone cold he had the what uh he needs she needs something she can play off the crowd with a little bit kind of if she feels like it's the energy's going just go to that and bring the crowd back up again um at the moment like she comes out crowd are really into it becky chants all that kind of stuff but then as she talks, just, do you know what I mean? The crowd aren't going wild behind her um, because she's telling stories and it's just a bit... Nah, 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 nah. Kind of want her to come out and, you know, be a, just a bit of attitude rather than telling us bedtime stories. I kind of agree with Asuka. A lot of buzz. A lot of buzz, but not much sting. Um, so, yeah. I I don't think that was the best Becky segment. But don't be wrong, Asuka did okay. Even Asuka didn't set the world on fire. Hey days, I get a new Ronda Rousey figure or Ruby Riot figure or the Hardy Boys. Cool. Days, when is the Wheel of Otis? Otis chants. Days, I want to defend against the former champions. Uh, okay, who, who do you want to... It's at commercial break, so who is that? Tristan. Uh, this is a weird... This weird war started with the tag match with Ronda and Sasha face to me and uh, Sasha... La, 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 la. Becky and Asuka versus Iconics. Is that what we're getting? Is it Becky and Asuka versus Iconics? Well, yeah, it does need to be a little, little bit of that. There does need to be a little bit of quiet time. <laughs> Not even that. It's just like when the energy is going. She needs something to bring it back, uh, and she didn't. She didn't have anything there. She didn't have anything. Uh, Otis is... I, I think people just want two hours of Otis, don't they, at the moment? Uh, it's as if you've never seen him before. <laughs> uh, Omega Cleaners. Okay. Uh, I'll put that up now. Uh, Fickle versus... Omega... Okay, it's Becky Lynch against Peyton Royce. That's our first match. Big right hand from Becky. Peyton goes to the outside. Becky goes after her. Chucks her straight back in. Nice kick. Yeah, I, I said that as well, didn't I? I feel like there needs to be just something that happens, a moment where, you know what I mean? She needs like a stunner or something like that. That's a great start to the match, though. I didn't see until the replay. She actually went for the handshake and then punched her in the face. Nice roll. Plays to the crowd. Asuka sat at ringside, shaking her head. Becky, this is what Becky should wrestle in. Uh, Becky is wrestling in, like, jeans, uh, a man t-shirt, trainers. 
In fact, let me change this at the top because it's not a Becky promo. It's a Becky match. We have got Becky Lynch versus Peyton Royce. Uh, Becky obviously in control. Lacey Evans backstage watching on. So I'm sure we're going to see EC3 at some point as well. Don't know if we're going to see Lars Sullivan. Peyton rolling to the outside. Becky, suicide dive? No, slides under, kick to the back. Got Peyton, chucks her back in. <laughs> I like Billy Kay. Billy Kay's like doesn't know what to do. Billy Kay's on the outside. She's just kind of like doing this. She's like giving her advice, but then backing away and then coming forward. If she if she got a second, if she got an opportunity, you know she'd fire a shot in. Becky over to the side. Peyton Royce. Firing some kicks in. Firing a shot on the top of Becky's head. Knee to the midsection. Becky firing some shots on Peyton. Little Becky chant. Clothesline. It's a pretty good way to start the show in the sense of you're getting a Becky Lynch match. Billy K talking trash. Uh, what did you think about Raw last night? I thought it was about seven and a half. I thought uh, a lot of good stuff happened. Um, I felt like too much happened. Like, I didn't like the Paul Heyman interview seconds after being shown brand new tag titles. I wanted to talk about them. Like, don't you want to know who designed them? Why they're designed that way? Um, a little bit more about, you know, some of the history of it. Why it was brought back, you know, couldn't they have spoke to Vince about, couldn't they have done a segment talking to Vince about women's tag team wrestling? Are you telling me you would not find that interesting? Because I absolutely would. Just mentioning about the Jumping Bomb Angels, the Glamour Girls, talking about some of the teams that could go for it this time, why the titles have been designed that way, why is the time right now? <clears throat> for those titles, blah, 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 blah. But instead, they were like, here's the belts. And then Paul Heyman came out and spoke about Brock Lesnar and blah, blah, blah. Right, we have gone to a commercial break. So let's do, let me just say this whilst it's in my mind. I really feel like there's too many matches, certainly on Raw. I feel like Raw has got too many matches, um, and I think if they're gonna if they're gonna put that many matches on, then you should be seeing Zack Ryder more, Kurt Hawkins more, No Way Jose more. Like they should be used more, and the top talent should be used more sparingly. So you shouldn't see Finn Balor on Raw next week. Uh, you shouldn't see Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins. Instead, you should see Bobby Lashley. You should see Dolph Ziggler. You should see... Do you know what I mean? Like, rotate the talent a little bit more. So you didn't see Dolph. I didn't see Dolph this week uh, at all. So now you should see him next week. And I just think then that, you know, I'm mean a little bit more. Uh, right. Otis was the only good part of that segment. I don't get the Finn Balor push. Uh, can you now why you can can you now why Days can't do live stream on YouTube? Uh, not being funny, Days, but Zack Ryder and No Way Jose aren't going to draw viewers. I understand that, but they would if it was Zack Ryder versus EC3. Uh, or if it was Zack Ryder versus Finn Balor, um, instead you had. Why is it these? Why is it these big pay per view matches all the time? Like, why is it that you're getting Finn Balor versus John Cena versus Drew McIntyre versus Baron Corbett? Do you know what I mean? Like, 
Ch -ch calm it down a little bit. Let's have Finn Balor against Zack Ryder um, with a, some kind of stipulation. Um, something along those lines. I just, I feel like there's two... You see the big superstars too often. They're overexposed. That's the problem. Overexposure. You see them too much. So that, you know, we was talking earlier about the fact that uh, all the matches feel the same. It's because Finn Balor has to wrestle so many times. How can he come up with anything new? He's, how, when he's got the time. Um, haven't seen Dolph in about two weeks. Can't wait for AEW to start. I really feel like AEW might be onto something because they said that wins and losses are going to matter like never before. So that makes me think, are they going to introduce league tables? Are they going to introduce points? Are they going to introduce win-loss records? I really hope so because that's exactly what I feel like wrestling needs. I've been saying it for a long time. I, I, would, I would, if I was booking it, I would make it more like UFC with rankings and stuff like that. Um, and I, you wouldn't see the big stars every single week. You would see some. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're not going to see anyone. I'm just saying that there's no way I would be putting all of them onto Raw, because where do you go next week? You're just going to have to use the same superstars, but in a slightly different way. It it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's not a... It doesn't feel like a sustainable business model, and, you know, ratings have, have been down, and I know they're having to try lots of different things. So why not try that? Why not try the less is more approach? Uh, hello, Ryan Payne. I am good, thank you. You love WWE Raw or SmackDown. I like them both. UFC rankings don't mean anything. Uh, they they kind of do. You you get you get an idea of who's going to be facing who. Against the ropes, you've got a much better chance of getting title matches if you're in the rankings. Becky Lynch looking for beautiful suplex exploder. This first match normally does go till about the half hour mark. Days, according to Dave Meltzer, TV deal with Sky is up, but the Khan family who own Fulham are sources with Sky could get AEW there. Hmm. Okay. Cody said it's happening. Cool. Uh, not many people watch wrestling in the UK. Meltzer reported it's only 50,000. Is it really? It's only 50,000. Wow. I mean, it is on at 1am, so I don't know if that's 50,000 live or whatever. Asuka in the ring, screaming at Becky. Becky wins with the disarmer. Asuka screaming something in Japanese. Asuka has to win that match. Yeah, the champion is angry. Asuka is angry. Asuka, look at this. Look at this. Grabbing Billy Kay. Slamming her head against the ring. Chucking Billy Kay in. It looks like we're getting an Asuka match now. Yeah, Asuka against Billy Kay. Billy Kay just. Hip attack. Against the ropes. Sliding knee. Kick out bite. Why did Billy Kay want this to continue? She should have just took the pin. Asuka. Is Asuka doing a bit of joint manipulation? One, two. 
Ask a lot. Tap. These two need to just go at it. Just go at it. Start throwing down. Start throwing down. Yeah, it does feel like it's about to explode. Talking trash to each other. It's hard to see either one walking away. AJ Styles? Oh my God, AJ Styles is going to put himself in the match. AJ Styles is going to put himself in the match. It's going to be Becky versus Asuka versus AJ Styles. Definitely. Dream match. Dream match. We've all been waiting for this. What does he want? Asuka and Becky have both got out the ring. I don't think he's interrupting uh, them. I think he's literally... What does he want? They've got out the ring and left, so he's not getting involved in their issue. He's gone into the crowd? Does he is he going after Daniel Bryan? Does he think Daniel Bryan might be at the concession stand again? Oh, Andrade. AJ Styles is going to the concourse. Look at that, celebrating because he's walked up some steps. Well done, AJ. Well done, AJ. Did a great job getting up them steps. Big fan of how he did that. Um, but, 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 right, okay. Where is he going? No one knows. Okay, it's the Wheel of Fun. Everybody loves the Wheel of Fun. What was that? Is that the wheel? It's the Wheel of Fun. But dum bum Right, Wheel of Fun time. Honestly, all I'm thinking is if this does land on Otis, I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. Oh, it says Aloe? I definitely... Oh, no. It's not even Otis, it's Aloe. Oh, no! Oh! So much just went wrong in less than a minute. First of all, I'm thinking if it lands on Otis, I don't know what it is. Then I noticed that it's not even Otis. It's aloe on the wheel. And then I thought, well, I don't know what that means either. And now it's landed on forfeit. Oh! Alotis. <laughs> Alotis. Oh, this is awful. This is really bad. This is really bad because I'm just not... I mean, can you see how many of those... I mean, like, I had an awful lot of them yesterday. An awful lot. We are just down to that bit now. That was full. That was a full tub. So, I feel like we're going to have to do the same kind of a thing, but with something different. Right, we've got these. Oh. I don't. Oh. I don't use these that often because the smell is horrific. Let me go full screen. The smell on these ones is atrocious. They're smaller, but the smell makes me, the smell makes me feel sick, legitimately. Um, I don't know if you can see them. There they are, look. I don't want to drop them all over my laptop. That is what I tend to do. Oh, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Brilliant. I've got them all in between the keys now. 
all in between. I can't even press a key without hitting one of these little... Oh, my days. That is ex exactly what I didn't want to happen. Didn't want that to happen. I've got them all in between the key. I know you can't see them, but this is my life. All right, let me try and get some out. Oh, my God. They've gone in between the key. They've gone into the actual laptop. They're going to be in there forever. If I ever get this, like, repaired or anything, people are going to be like, what do you do? What do you do? Do you work for, like, I'm a celebrity? All right, let's put them back in. Here we go. Huh? OBS is currently active. Good. Uh, right, let's close this. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Ah, uh, we got to be quick. Here they are. Right. Uh, I've got no coffee. Uh. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Oh, I've still got them all over my laptop. AJ is up at the concession stand. He's got some t-shirts. He's giving away free t-shirts. Free hats. I think he's trying to upset Daniel Bryan. Daniel, there's Daniel, they're fighting at the concession stand, oh, I love these, I love these, fighting over by the merchandise, oh, well, that's going to damage sales, isn't it, Vince McMahon's not going to be happy, oh, look, the green goo has gone on the floor, I don't know what it, oh, it's all gone on the floor, there's mustard all over Daniel Bryan's cardigan, that cardigan's ruined. I've still got bad taste in my mouth. It's all over his jeans. They're slipping all over the place. Ah, oh, that's it. We now go to a photo shoot with the Usos. It's going to be from Mandy Rose, isn't it? Oh, no. Mandy wants to get locked up in the Usos penitentiary. Tell Otis. That's what you should do. Go and tell Otis. Is this leading towards heavy machinery against the Usos? Samoa Joe. EC3. Mandy isn't dating Otis. She's dating Tino Sabatino. Oh, that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. 
Tino Sabatelli um, is probably going to be commentary, isn't he? He's going to be on the commentary team. Oh. I've been three weeks for this. It's going to be Jay, the one going to the hotel room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Days I'm still tag team chat. Oh, well done, my friend. Yes. Days will you ever stream on YouTube again? Uh, I get asked that so often. Yes is the answer. It is likely. Mandy's dating both. Mandy's dating both. Uh, I would risk my marriage for a night with Mandy. Uh, fair play. I feel really... Ugh, those things are horrible. Horrible. I, these forfeits are not enjoyable for me in the slightest. Can I just point that out? These things are absolutely vile. Absolutely vile. I'm going to have to try and... Wow. Well, I've never had a forfeit I've enjoyed. Hence why they're called forfeits. Oh, tell a lie. The forfeit did lie, land on the... Gummy bear things once, the jelly bean things. That was the best forfeit ever. Uh, lol, I wouldn't risk anything to be with Mandy. Mm. Otis has been tweeting stuff like that for years. It's a thing he did in NXT to get her over being beautiful. When you go back to YouTube, will you stream NXT again? I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know when we'll go back. I'm not sure when. Um, I need to check to see if it's all good. I've said for a while I didn't want to mess people around. I didn't want to drag them over here and then go back over there. Um, and I'm quite happy just staying here and, you know, just kind of seeing how Twitch works and streams work better. And But I do agree that some of our friends didn't come over. Um, still don't know we're over here. Uh, what do you mean, Days? Taste the gummy worms. They're the best earthworms. Mandy's boyfriend is T-Series. Who else thinks EC3 looks gross? EC3? I, don't, I, I can't say I, I've thought about it. Also, didn't she have like two matches in NXT? She had a few more than two. I think it was like three. Uh, hello, Emsard. Hope you are well. Actually, M. Saad, you could do all the polls. We've got two polls that we need to do, and we haven't done them. So you are the Santa if you want this. Do you want this to be the show? Because you can do all the polls for one of the shows. And we haven't done a poll. Well, we did one, but the champion requested it. It's up to you. I like Twitch better. Days, can you like me? I don't know what that means, dude. They're just showing our truth and Carmella having a look around the headquarters. Why is there a dinosaur head on the wall? Little Caesars seat upgrade. No lag on Twitch. That is true. Oh, I don't like this Andrade thing. God, Zelina Vega starting to look like Paige. She's wearing all black. She's got a little black choker on, dark black hair. She's starting to go pale. I thought there was like a little Paige cosplayer that had just walked on screen. Page 2.0. Uh, got my son, the Mutants Finn Balor. He loves it. It's a cool figure. I prefer it when they call him Cien Almas. Ooh. 
Are you going to be watching Glass? No. Rey Mysterio against Andrade. Stupid. Stupid one name. In fairness, hopefully, though, this is the start of them booking him better. Uh, I was watching the R Truth Carmella video on YouTube until Kathy Kelly appeared and then I turned it off. <laughs> what, you mean the woman that really did attack Alistair Black? Hopefully Andrade wins this time. Yes, hopefully. Right, we've got uh, Samoa Joe on the way. Days, why did Kathy block you? I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea. I don't ever remember criticising her. I don't remember criticising her. Um, she blocked me before I found out she attacked Alistair Black, so it's not connected to that. Um, but I don't know. I do you know do you know how I found out that she'd blocked me? I joked that if there was going to be women's tag titles, that I thought that Renee Young and Kathy Kelly should enter as a team. I was going, I was I was actually typing that as a tweet, and I can't remember what it was that made me do it. But as I was writing, Kathy Kelly kind of thought, do you know what? I don't remember seeing her tweets. I haven't. I don't know if she's even on Twitter. Like, what does she tweet about? Because she's not a superstar. So what does she actually tweet about? So I went to look because of that tweet. And it turns out she'd blocked me. And what's amazing is she actually went out of her way to block me. That's amazing, isn't it? I kind of like that. I like the fact that I have never tagged her in a tweet. She has actually searched me out and blocked me. That's how much she hates me. <laughs> Which I I wear as a badge of honour. There we go. Uh, la, la, la. She blocked you because Kathy Kelly. Yes. I blocked Kathy Kelly. <laughs> Good for you. Days, that's cool. Is it cool? Feels cool. Oh my god, did they move 205 live back after SmackDown? Yes, this is the first week of them doing it. Uh, to find Moan Ric Flair, very good. The reason why Zelina looks like Paige is because Alistair Black is emo and they are married, so Zelina's gone dark now. <laughs> Days, stop acting like Enzo. What? Was I sending messages going, how you doing? Here is, right, we've got Samoa Joe against Mustafa Ali. Imagine if Andrade won the Rumble. Kathy Kelly is T-Series. <laughs> ah, yes. Kathy Kelly is T-Series. Uh, well, we need to do an actual one. I don't know if M. Saad is M. I didn't see if M. Saad was doing this one or not. Ali has got to be hurt. Yeah, he is taking a beating at the moment from Samoa Joe. M. Saad, let me know. Are you doing a poll or do you want me to do it? I didn't know if you was doing this week or not. DDP at the Rumble. That's a good shout. We saw him a couple of years ago, though, didn't we? So. Mustafa Ali is down and out on the outside. Yeah, Ali did hit the post hard. I love the fact he's lying there and that little light is flashing on his chest. It'd be cool if the light just went out and he was just like, 
be drama, that would. Uh, so Ali gets attacked from behind before the match even starts. <clears throat> Lord, the light is calling him to a greater purpose. <laughs> Days, what about Dasher? Uh, I, I, mate, I don't know. I've not checked. She might have blocked me as well. Perhaps like all the female digital interviewers and announcers all hate me. Perhaps I've done something and I don't know what I've done. Joe hurling Mustafa Ali into the barricade. The light is like the Iron Man thing he has on his chest, but glowing. Yeah, I'd look, I'd look, I want it to go out. That's what I want. They need a little switch here that they can just turn it off. That'd be sick. I mean, not now. Maybe at WrestleMania or something. There is Sonia Deville. What's Mandy Rose doing? So Mandy saying she just hates Naomi. You know, like like so Mandy says she hates Naomi and she wants to break up the marriage. I think we kind of guessed that's what she was doing. Bestie birthday bash. Happy birthday to the best in the world. <laughs> yes. Bestie birthday bash tonight. There is Rey Mysterio in purple. Oh, Nikki. Let Nikki play. Why was Rey Mysterio just in a segment with Nikki Cross? Makes no sense. Uh, right, I don't, I don't think MSARD is around, so let's do a title defense. Uh, we will do the tag titles. So, it is going to be Fickle will defend. Let me bring it up on my phone. Against the... Oh, dearie me. Against the tenth person that gives me the word cross. Tenth person that gives me the word cross. Tenth person that gives me a word cross. Ooh, we've got a bit of lag here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I've got that as Andres Hunter. Andres Hunter, let me know the name of your team, please. Andres Hunter. Let me know the name of your team. Uh, right. Let's move on. The 20th person... That gives me the word. Uh, I'm trying to get this chat to pop out because we are going quite deep into it. So I need, you know, I can't use my phone. If I use my phone, then we get lag. So I'm going to have to use this pop out chat instead. So uh, let's go. Yeah, look, I can see. It just went a little bit wobbly. Uh, let's go with. 
20th person to give me the word light. I'm thinking of Mustafa Ali's light. So 20th person that gives me the word light. Okay, here they come. Here they come. I've got that as Liam Costa. Well done, Liam Costa. And so Andrades, Liam Costa, and we need one more. Uh, and so this will go to, this will go to the eighth person that gives me the word fickle, just because I saw it there. Eighth person that gives me the word fickle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's, is it? Let me count it. One, two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cal W. It is Cal W. Right, get your get your team names in, please. Is that going to be Dastardly Gentleman, Cal W? Let me know, let me know, let me know. All right, let me change that back. There we go. Dastardly Gentleman, yes. So it is going to be Fickle against Dastardly. Liam Costa, what's your team name? Uh, Latin Hunters, of course. Disaster Crew. Okay, thank you, everyone. Let me get that poll up. Here we go. We're going to put 15 minutes on the board. This is apparently Liam's first poll. Um, but we've got some good teams in this. I, tell you, I still want to see Sea Monkey North against Tranquilo Club. That's the match I want to see. Who should be? Okay, we have got Fickle taking on Dastardly Gentlemen taking on Latin Hunters taking on Disaster Crew. Here we go. Okay, Ray Mysterio making his way out. The king of Lucha Libre. Maybe at the moment. There we go. Days, remember we are doing that at the Rumble. Okay. Uh, I was in Tranquilo. Look, Days, can I be inducted into the Hall of Fame? I've won lots of titles and I'm tired of polls. <laughs> I need to have a look. I need to go back and see how many people have won. I did see some up from Future Marine, actually, which I, need, I still need to catch up with. Days, we are doing a live hour episode of EastEnders soon. The BBC gave us 722,000. We are planning a big comeback and kill off. Very cool. 
I don't really get a chance to watch. I've, I've, I have, of course, seen EastEnders, but I don't get a chance to watch it every... Is it every day? I don't even know. A wrestling takes up enough of my time. But that's very cool, dude. A live episode is exciting. Uh, hello, Emsard. Uh, yes, I did. I figured. Days, I don't have a partner. I'm the new Seth Rollins. A Tranquilla comes in on a dream match once in a lifetime. They changed his Tron. Have they changed his Tron? Is that different? I think it's the same, but now it just says Andrade. Just hate this. Isn't it interesting how normally they take away the first name? But with this, they've taken away his surnames. This match could be sick, actually. This match could be a... Uh... Don't sleep on this. Someone's got a sign saying Victoria for Hall of Fame. No. I don't see that. Uh, less than two weeks. Can't wait for the rumble. Rumble is going to be good. Looks like Jinder is in the Rumble after yesterday's Raw. Okay. Uh, there was a Canadian Destroyer last time they fought. There was a Canadian Destroyer last week from... Was it Ray? I think it was Ray that did a Canadian Destroyer. I, hope, I don't want to see one in this match. This is what I keep talking about. I don't want every match to be the same. I do not want the Canadian Destroyer... To now become the new Inziguri, right? Do not, I do not want to see that in this match. It's, a, it's a fantastic move. Should be for like pay per views. Right, we got Andrade in there with Rey Mysterio. They're circling around each other. The amount of spoilers we'll get in the Rumble chat. Oh, uh, what? Because it's going to be a slight delays and everything. That's a good point. What I might have to do is we might have to turn the chat off for the rumble or just the bit where people are coming out. So we could have the chat for the whole event, but then when it actually gets to the 30-man rumble and the 30-woman rumble, maybe maybe we just turn the, the chat off or just take it off the screen at least. So we... Uh, because every, everyone's attention is going to be on the rumble, isn't it? So, uh, Andrade can be a top star if Vince actually cared about good wrestlers. Uh, Andrade's attire looks fire. Uh... It's the same, isn't it? Is it it's white with a bit of black on the side, I suppose? It's a little different. I suppose it's a little different. His knee pad on the one side is black, and on the other side it's white. Andrade is trending right now, because the whole WWE universe are going, 
What happened to the CN Almas bit? <laughs> That's why it's trending. Uh, days, but if there is a return, will you put chat on? Uh, no. Why? Why would I? Why would I do that? Because surely there'll be another superstar coming out shortly after, and you know, then the chat might get. And it, it won't even be you guys. I'm not saying it'll be any of you, but we could have new people join us because obviously Rumble's a big deal. So we could have like people that just don't care that might that that, that want to ruin it, you know. So uh, maybe if we just turn the chat off for that little bit. I mean, you can still chat, but I just I won't have it on screen, if that makes any sense. Uh, Daisy, you see my tweets? I saw you sent some. I haven't read them. Uh, I am behind on Twitter, so I need to catch up with all of that. Uh, Brexit, Mrs. May made a mess of it. She needs to go, like Nigel Farage said. Mr. Yunker will not give us any other deal. Vote for Disaster Crew. Please read. I'm going to take over Phoenix and the Royal Rumble. Also, Adam Cole is facing Buddy Murphy tonight. Really? Really? What, on 205 Live? Hmm. That's very cool. Uh, nice. Oh, nice little transitions there between the two of them. But Andrade on top. Andrade is a great wrestler. Yes. Uh, just because I'm not uh, deluded by something doesn't mean it's worth watching. Hope CN Almas wins. Why is that? Is that a um, surprise? Is it? Is that not known? Days, are we seeing two o five live tonight? I'm skipping it, dude. I might watch it, but I uh, don't plan on sticking around for it. It was a bit different when we was over on YouTube because people could come and join us whilst we were watching live. But obviously, all the time that we're streaming on Twitch, the the video isn't on YouTube for people to watch, for people to uh, kind of see our thoughts on things. So uh, it makes more sense for when SmackDown finishes to uh, finish the stream and get it sent over to uh, YouTube. Rey Mysterio going for a 6-1-9. Andrade getting out of the way. Hammerlock DDT but couldn't connect. Little back and forths here. Days, when is your toy hunt? I really miss toy hunts. Uh, there's been nothing to hunt, my friend. Uh, Smiths haven't had anything new for quite a while. They had a few new figures at Christmas and that was in a toy hunt that we did. Um, but in order to get a toy hunt done, I, I had to include Fortnite figures, because if I didn't, th there wouldn't be much to show, um, it's been absolutely awful, I, I was thinking of doing a video, kind of talking about how bad it is over here in the UK for wrestling figures, I actually know a little bit of information as to why it is bad as well, um, I've heard rumours that Elite 63, might not be in the country till March. Um, that's the latest rumour I heard. That would be awful if it's true. Awful. Um, so, yeah, I know a little bit of stuff, but we'll have to... Uh, I don't know. I'll, uh, if I get a chance, I'll put it all in a video. Uh, I hate Fortnite. That's fair enough. I did play Supercard, and I liked it, but... Uh, when they changed from Series 1 to Series 2, or Season 1 from Series 2, you basically started again. And I was like, forget that. So, 
Uh, my uncle is going to work AEW, and I told him some ideas you came up with for WWE. Very cool. Very cool. Um, how exciting that your uncle is going to work for um, AEW. Very exciting. Cal W is playing Supercard right now. And looks good and addictive. So I, I've got to be honest. I don't think this is the best SmackDown Live so far. Um, like the in-ring stuff has been okay. There's not really been much that's kind of grabbed my attention. There's the Kanye song lyrics of all. Of what? But it's good. I, dude, that message is so big. It leaves the screen seconds after you post it. So I didn't see it. Apparently, he met one of the Young Bucks. Hmm, very cool. I've seen the Young Bucks. Uh, I saw them in Wolverhampton a couple of years ago. There's a video on the channel uh, where I didn't, sadly, I didn't meet them. But I saw them wrestle. It was British Strong Style against Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, the Elite. How about that? British Strong Style versus the Elite. I saw that match. Uh, Days, the Kanye song lyrics of All the Lights is stuck in my head. Can you sing it? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, you've got me confused with singing days. This is wrestling days. It, where, how, I don't even know how you've got that in your head. I don't think it's on an advert. Uh, would appreciate you guys voting for Dastardly Gentlemen. Where are we? It looks like Fickle. A two minutes from retaining. EC3 versus Dean versus Styles versus Orton. Slated for Mania. Really? EC3 versus Dean versus Styles versus Orton. Horrible. Don't like it. Days, please return to Slam card. Trading. At oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot that even existed. I to totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, the advert made it go in the live flash. It highlights. Are you going to make a singing days video? No. Uh, it's saying no advertisement. I am a lone wolf in the world. <laughs> I like your use of emojis. Uh, right, what time? Oh, okay. I got to tell you, the, even though the show is not, you know been the best I've seen. It's, it's going pretty quick. Daisy's favourite YouTuber is Rice Gum. It absolutely is not. He really wound me up. Really wound me up. Knees by Andrade. Rey Mysterio getting out of the way of Andrade. Days I'm hosting you on my Twitch. Amazing. Thank you. Unsubscribe to Rice Gum. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I've not seen him apologise for what he did, but I should imagine he likes the drama. It tends to be that drama equals views, doesn't it? That seems to be how YouTube works these days. Days do Rice Gum versus Days. Uh, I am not on that level, so that would never happen. I think he's got like 10 million subs. Uh, please read. During a tour at Chase Field, I met CM Punk and Cody. Very, very cool. KSI is a better YouTuber than Rice Gum. Rice Gum is T Series. Fickle retains. Well, we're at Plending. Anything can happen in those final minutes. Did you see what Logan did? No. Has he done something else now? Or are you talking about last year? Fickle do retain. Fickle retain. KSI will murder Logan. Oh, yeah, that fights. They're doing a rematch, aren't they? Is the rematch? Are they doing a rematch this year? Um. Well, anyway, look, the match we should be focused on is Ray against Andrade. And it's been a decent match. 
I do feel like Andrade should get the victory here. Andrade, oh, back elbow from Ray. Ray gets pushed into the corner. Ray, go oh, nice. It's like a hurricanrana. Andrade goes into the corner. Ray Mysterio. Indicating that he's going up top. No. Andrade going up. I tell you, this match, it's not that fast-paced action I was expecting. Uh, you've got Andrade on the outside. That's that's nice, though. Rey Mysterio off the top. Huracarana takes Andrade to the outside. Look at that, Zelina Vega can't believe what she's seen. She's in utter shock. Utter shock. There's a this is awesome chant. That was a great moment. That was a great moment. Look at that. Look at that. That is really good. That is really good. Mysterio crashing down on Andrade. Right, uh, we need to do a wheel of fun, don't we? We're into the second now, so let's do a wheel. Get the wheel done. It's the wheel of fun. Everybody loves the wheel of fun. What was that? Is that the wheel? It's the wheel of fun. Ba -dum -bum. Right, let's spin the wheel. It's been it's been addicted to forfeits recently. Let's see what it lands on this time. I still haven't changed aloe, and I still don't know what it means if it lands on aloe. Slam attack! <laughs> Here we go then. Three packs of slam attacks. So we're going to give three packs of slam attacks away. Uh, and they will go to the 13th. We don't do 13th that often. So unlucky for some, but it will be lucky for someone. 13th person that gives me the word Zelina. Zelina. That's what I'm looking for. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. is a nightmare. I hate using this for the VAR. I hate it. And if I use my phone, then I get lag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> it is. You've done it again. Cal W. Cal W. Well done. Fair and square, dude. Well done. Three packs of slam attacks. 
on their way to you. Uh, right, SmackDown Live. Three packs, slam, attacks, goes to Cal W95. Well done, dude. Tell you what, since you've, since you've jumped onto these, you're doing well here. I, I don't know what it is, but you've just got the knack. You seem to go a long time without winning, but now... Moonsault into a standing Moonsault. Just gets a two from Andrade. They are giving this match some time. Uh, what, is Emsard using Santa? Days, Dan Danger accepted my challenge for a title. Days, I want to do a poll. Okay, Emsard, are you using your Santa? You did one poll the other day. So if you do this one, that'll be you using up your Santa. Two. Shoulder up from Andrade. We've got too many people wanting polls at the moment. Let's see what Emsard's got to say first. This match is amazing. Yes, it really has picked up. Andrade has caught... Oh, that's a sick move. And a kick out by Andrade. I don't even know what that move was. Yeah, some of these are amazing counters. Six one nine Andrade goes down. Zelina's up, causing a distraction, which is a bit of a shame. I'd like to see this get a proper finish. Um, okay, Emsard, so you want to do the poll for this time, that's fine. Hammerlock DDT on Andrade. One, two. Really great match with a really rubbish finish. That's a real shame. That was a fantastic match with a really rubbish finish. Zelina Vega distracting. That's annoying. Some great little moves there. Great reversals. Easily the best match we've seen on TV so far this week. Uh, Andrade against Rey Mysterio. You knew it was going to deliver. And it delivered. I am retired. Didn't you say that the other day, Pine Valley? <laughs> Every single chat, you seem to tell us you've retired. Matt Siler, Matt Siler, Imtiers, and Efren the Beast will go up against Dan Danger. Okay. Thank you, Emsard. Emsard has now officially used his Santa. Did a poll the other day. And is doing this poll right now. Uh, 
M sod against Wow, M sod, I will as a thank you for your services, I will put you in a uh, poll. So whoever wins this will defend against M Sard. That is the breaking news. Breaking news. Whoever wins this will defend against M Sard. Okay, guys. Who should be Twitch Smackdown Live Champion? There we go. Oh, hello. That is definitely going to be Jay, isn't it? Definitely going to be Jay. So, there we go. We see one of the Usos go in to the hotel room. If I was Jimmy, I would just give that hotel room key to Naomi. Just go, here you go. This is what she did. Go and beat her up. She's trying to steal me. <laughs> She's trying to steal me. Uh, Tristan, you can't defend at the moment, dude. We've already got a poll underway. Uh, Tristan, if you want to defend, it's nothing stopping you defending it on, like, your channel. Just let me know who wins. If you've got a Twitter... I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, that's fine, Emsad. You did great work as the uh, Santa. I, I don't remember saying that you couldn't put yourself in, but you never did. Uh, and so, as a thank you, I will give you that reward. So the winner of this poll will defend one-on-one -on -one against M. Saad. And that is how we will close out the show. Uh, we've got, we still got like 35 minutes of SmackDown. We know that we've got uh, this little segment coming up now with uh, the Usos and Mandy Rose. I'm sure Naomi, well, well, will Naomi be involved? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. And then, obviously, we've got the bestie birthday bash. That's coming up as well. I didn't see if there was a match or anything that was announced. Uh, what do you think is the best figure? I think I always say Finn Balor SummerSlam. Mm -mm. Please vote for me. I hope Anna is okay. Haven't seen her since last week. Uh, yeah, good point. Good point. I haven't seen her, actually. Uh, Sonya Deville versus Carmella was promoted. Oh, okay. Totally missed that. Totally missed that. Uh, defining moments, Sting. What, the Crow one? Or the Great American Bash one? Uh, where are we? We have got 11 minutes to go. Poll-wise, we are good. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I've not got high hopes. I wonder if we're going to see a more nudity now. Do you think this segment... Do you think it's going to be the case that one of the Usos is going to go in and then Mandy Rose is going to be there with just the towel on the bed or something like that? Just feels like they're trying to get nudity into the program, who, however they can. F 
future Marine. Can I defend my belt on Twitter? Yeah. If you want. Okay, we are back. Great American Bash Sting. Okay, here we go. We are back. He's going to try and get down since days one-ish, isn't he? Okay, he's knocking. What? Don't need to knock, do you? You got a key? She's giving you the key? Okay. Is it... Right. Okay, so she's just in like a nighty, black silk nighty thing. What's he gonna say? Come on, Jimmy. Come closer. Don't be shy. When's he gonna tell her that that's not Jimmy? <laughs> Oh, she's taking the robe off. And she's wearing... So what do you think? Kind of lingerie. What will your wife think? Well, I say kind of lingerie. It is lingerie, but... We can't do this. It's not I skimpy. This right here needs to stop. Jimmy, we can do this. Oh, pictures. Really? A paparazzi. What's up? What is that? What's up on the list? You really think that I wanted you? Okay, Mandy Rose has turned. This is about you, Jimmy? This isn't about you. This is about your wife. I despise your wife. Naomi okay, so Mandy Rose talking a bit of trash now. So it was all a set up just to get some pictures. There's a little smile on the face here. My wife. Okay, he's just left the room. Ah, <laughs> oh, there she is, look. That was shot really weird, wasn't it? We've got a hotel room brawl. See, this is exactly what we need. Something really different. Naomi versus Mandy Rose in a hotel room brawl. <laughs> I love it. Epic moments. We need this as a Mattel epic moments. Epic moments. Epic moment. Right, everyone, send tweets over to Bill right now. Mattel, epic moments. Epic moments. We need these as figures. <laughs> Mandy versus Naomi. They've hurled each other into TVs. Naomi's gone into the chair. Mandy's run away. It's carnage. Oh, man. Chill. Yeah, that plan backfired. Epic moments. Yes. 
We need it as epic moments. They're destroying the hotel. Wonder who's going to pay. Oh, they'll make it back on YouTube Rev, won't they? If I could, without it crashing, I would tweet Mattel right now. Uh, my Twitter is slow. <clears throat> Pretty lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We needed Otis. We needed Otis to come walking in at the end of that segment. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made that segment. That segment would have gone down in history if Otis had walked in at that point. Uh, MSAR, there's, there's no more Santa now. It's done. It is done. It is over. Yep. Uh, Vince will pay for the damage just like the Yimmo did it. Just tweeted Bill. <laughs> yes. Yes. People tweeting Bill. Tweeting Mattel. Letting them know. Epic moments. Yes. Look, they want to make money. Yeah, they want to make money. That is pure money right there. That is a money printing machine. Mandy Rose in lingerie. Naomi. Hotel room. Hotel, hotel room playset. That would sell, man. That would sell. Definitely. You can trash the TV. They've already made a TV. They could put that in with it. Maybe the bed can break. Chairs. That'd be so cool. Finn versus Seth at Mania. Rusev against Nakamura at the Rumble. Here comes the Miz. They made a TV. Yeah, it was um, in the uh, Festival of Friendship set. It wasn't... Uh, you couldn't switch it on or anything. But it's there's a TV in the Festival of Friendship. It's only plastic thing. Right, Miz. Is this Miz... Is it Miz TV? Let's say it is Miz TV. Miz TV with Shane McMahon. I came to play. That is, if I want to vote in polls on my own Twitter, so how to do that, and Days, can you please follow? Days, if I want to vote in polls on my own Twitter, how can I do that? Uh, well, you, you can just put a poll thing up. Can you follow me back on Twitter? Oh, uh, have a look. Send me a message, dude. Just remind me, because I might forget otherwise. No, it's the birthday bash. Oh, well, I'm not changing it now, Cal W. <laughs> uh, it says, happy birthday, Shane, in the ring. I think this is it for SmackDown. This will go... T this is going to be a 20-minute segment. No. 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 Didn't someone say Sonya Deville against Carmella as well? I told Bill, you told me to do it. Don't do that. I don't want to get in trouble with Bill, do I? I don't want to get in trouble with Bill. Don't get me in trouble with Bill. Okay, everyone, don't tweet Bill now. Tweet Mattel. Tweet Mattel directly. Yeah, I did. Might have cancelled it. Oh, what? They might have cancelled it. Uh, Carmella vs. Sonya. Well, let's see. Let's see. There's only a minute left. Looks like Dan Danger might be retaining. Whoever does win this, obviously, as we said, will go against M. Sard. Uh, Bill responded and said you were going to get punished. <laughs> I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. 
Uh, days too late. I tweeted Bill, but I didn't mention you. Okay, look, that's fine. That's fine. But let's send it to Mattel instead now. Yeah. Don't want poor Bill getting hundreds of messages. Although they should totally make it. It's not my. It's not my fault. That we've come up with a great idea, is it? This is what we do. We're like um, a, we're like a brainstorming community. We just throw ideas around. Someone will say something in the chat. Someone else will jump on top of it. And before you know it, by the end of the stream, we've come up with some amazing ideas. I mean, that epic moment set would make Mattel a billion dollars. That's it. Done. Simple. Billion dollars. So, if they don't like money, it's their own fault. Uh, he said, if there's another wrestling shop, you will get a serious talk. <laughs> Days, are you sexist? How am I sexist? How am I sexist? Fine, tell, tell Mattel that they've got to make men in lingerie as well. <laughs> I'm only reacting to what the show that WWE are putting on as well, yeah? Guys, I'm off to bed. Up 6am at work. Oh, that's rough, dude. Good night. 6am. You're only going to get a few hours sleep. Uh, Dan Danger, well done. You're going to have to defend one more time. Dan Danger... Epic moments. Epic moments. Who should be Twitch Smackdown Live Champion? There we go. Right, we're still at a commercial break. We're still waiting to go back. And just to say that, looks like we are about to go back. No worries, dude. The question you told Days is... Hashtag Days is sexist. How? Right, here we... Oh, man, there's cakes and everything. You know this is going to end badly. Is this going to be the bar? Are the bar going to get involved? It's someone's birthday. <laughs> it's someone's birthday. Welcome to the best Here he comes. Here he is, look, Shane McMahon on his way. The best in the world. Days, if there's time, can I defend again? I don't think there will be, dude. This poll's on for 13 minutes. That's going to pretty much take us to the end. As I said, you can defend it on your channel. Uh, because you didn't put Otis on the wheel, that makes you sexist. Ah. Is Miz face now? I think he's been face for a while, yeah. Right, let's see. We've got the uh, World Cup trophy there. Mattel definitely needs to make the World Cup trophy. The next two elite lines have been leaked. Oh, <laughs> yes, you've got to applaud that from Mr. Monkey. You've got to applaud that. Yeah, very good, Mr. Monkey. Look at that. That's the, that's the top draw humour that we uh, all know and love.
Okay, what's uh, Shane going to say? I think there's a bit of an awful happy birthday chant. Uh, Future Marine, if it's a tie, then um, uh, the champion retains. Okay, let's... Two specialty cakes. There's a picture on the cake of the moment that they won the World Cup trophy. <laughs> or them holding it above their heads. I feel like that World Cup trophy is going to get destroyed. Tough to understand. Pretty lady. I want to know what's in that present. Miz has just given Shane McMahon a present. Shane's opening. Trainers. I feel like shoes. Shoes are always quite a... Uh... Are they Air Jordan? Jordan 33s. Jordan 30, is that a thing? I don't know. What are we looking at now? Is this a little video package? Surely the bar are going to come out. Something's got to happen. Someone's going into that cake. I think there's a little Shane McMahon video package. They're self-lacing shoes. Are they? They make it look like he died. Yes. Yeah, this is like watching your um, obituary a little early, isn't it? Uh, the gift is a school crushing finale. Nah. Not yet. I think they will end up having a match against each other, but not yet. Maybe that's Mania. Shane against me. I still got, I don't know. That feels too soon. Is it too soon? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. You heard Shane say they were. I'm just watching a video package of Shane McMahon. Uh, laughing Durf Sheets on the Alexa segment. YouTube viewers, the comments want WWE to do all the way. I'm sure they have not seen a girl in the skin. It was an awful segment. WWE is saddened to learn that Otis Dojovic only has five figures in Elite 69, not six. The sixth is a pretty lady. Uh, wow, we're at 50-50 on the poll. Okay, we are going back now. That's the end of the video package. Big smile on the face of Shane McMahon. Touched. Okay, Shane thanking Miz.
Oh, Shane's going to open up. So Shane says he's always dreamed about being a tag champ. It's not this Sunday. It's not this Sunday. It's not this Sunday. It's not this Sunday. Shane saying it's this Sunday, it wasn't. I think it's now time for everybody to help me in singing Happy Birthday to Shane McMahon. You all ready? The Miz and Shane versus the Young Bucks. That'd be sick. A two, a three. Happy birthday. I mean, I don't know if it'd be a great match, but. Okay, people are sitting. Finally! God, I feel like I was waiting forever for the bar. Here they come. The bar are here. <laughs> Shame of saying that was embarrassing. It was a bit. Seamus saying that Vince doesn't care about Shane. Uh, Days, you saw the show Naked Attraction or Gogglebox. Don't think of what well, I don't. Have I seen Naked Attraction? I've seen Gogglebox. Days, can you check my Twitter after the stream? What for, dude? If it was a set, if it's a if it if you drew, then you retain. Oh, hello, Shane. Saying you think you're tough. Let's see how tough you are tonight. The Miz, one on one, right here tonight. There's only 10 minutes left. Shane McMahon talking up the Miz here. There we go, Miz versus Sheamus. Hmm. It's quite interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm strangely interested. Just because I feel like Sheamus would win. But will he win? Uh, right, so Miz versus Sheamus. It's not going to be the longest match. It can't be. Boom. There is, there will still be time. They won't do it. There's less than 10 minutes. And this poll's still got another two minutes. So unless we put up like a five-minute match, then, um, but I don't think we've ever gone there. Well, this is going to be short, says two goal, Ivanovich. You are correct. Vote for me and I will defend against anyone next week. Two minutes to go. Days, I have ideas for champion. I think you sent them to me, didn't you, dude? Say Cena. Cena. 
Why are we doing that, Mr. Monkey? What's what's going on? Uh, we have got just nine minutes left of this show. We're at a commercial break. We are getting the Miz versus Shamer. Shane McMahon. It's going to take him nine minutes to strip the ring. There's presents in there, cake in there. But you know someone's going through that cake. And the cake sounded lovely. It was chocolate and vanilla. That is right up my street. That is right up my street. Mm, one minute to go. Let's see who is winning there. Uh, I, Future Moon, I, I said I haven't seen them. Uh, I, I know you've sent them. I've seen them, but I've not read them. That's the better way of putting it. Um, I'm behind on Twitter. I've been doing um, videos all day. Right, let's see how this last match goes. I'm going to say that this SmackDown is a 7. I feel like yeah, Raw was a 7.5, maybe an 8. I don't feel like this was as good as Raw. I feel like Raw had a lot more talking points. Uh, you know, the limo being flipped, the uh, revealing of the tag titles, the, the whole Finn Balor thing... Uh, We've not had anything on this level. The better match has been on this show, which is Rey Mysterio against Mustafa Ali. Um, Mustafa Ali. Andrade, sorry. Uh, that's the best match of the week. Easy. Uh, but, yeah, the rest of it's just been all right. Why can't they just do NXT UK Live like NXT US? Uh, NXT isn't live, dude. NXT's taped as well. Ooh, look at that. We got a new champ, M. Saad. M. Saad has done it. Right, the Miz fighting in a suit. We've still got the cake at ringside. That means someone's going through the cake. Sheamus to the outside. Clothesline from Sheamus. Miz gets hurled in. Sheamus is in wrestling attire. Miz absolutely isn't. Miz gets hurled into the corner. Ooh. Miz goes down. It's all Seamus at the moment. Cesaro looking quite smug and comfortable on the outside. Oh, Seamus ripping the shirt of the Miz. I mean, this is two former WWE champions going at each other. I wonder how many times Sheamus and Miz have fought. I bet it's probably not as many as you'd think because they've both been heels for ever. So you don't tend to get like two heels facing each other. Miz breaking the count. When is the next taping of NXT UK airing? Uh, as every Wednesday, doesn't it? Um, and I'm guessing this week will be like a recap show. So might start, might be, might be tomorrow or the week after. Right, Sheamus throws Miz's shirt away. There's not long left. I don't know why he's put a headlock on. Why has Sheamus got a headlock on The Miz with like four minutes to go? Man, 
Nice elbows to the midsection from the Miz. Miz gets scooped up, lands on his feet, looking for the school crushing. Can't hit it. Sheamus runs into a big boot. And again. And again. Big strike from the Miz. Uh, it's not on tomorrow. They're showing a repeat from last week. Oh, it'll probably be the week after them. Miz into the corner. Oh, big attack from Sheamus. Uh, okay, Tristan, just remind me at the start of uh, next week. We are down to the final three. Uh, what have you missed? Not a great deal, actually. Not the same as Raw. Not the same as Raw where there was loads that happened. There was a little hotel room incident with Mandy Rose, Naomi. Oh, Cesaro goes into the cake. Shane McMahon hurls Cesaro into that cake. Roll up by The Miz. And The Miz wins. Sheamus was distracted. And The Miz picks up the victory. Oh, look, Sheamus stomping away on The Miz. Shane McMahon's in, firing shots into the midsection. Against the ropes goes Sheamus. Back elbow from Shane. Miz, school crushing. Down goes Sheamus. What are they going for? They're getting Sheamus. Dragging him over to the corner. Ah, oh, coast to coast. Coast to coast. We're going to end the show with a coast to coast. Mm, impressive. Brilliant match with Almas and... It's not Almas. It's Andrade. <laughs> Is The Miz going to throw the cake? Oh, I think The Miz is putting the cake. Ah, oh, look at that. Coast to coast. A coast to cake? And he rubs it in the face of Sheamus. Well, the bar are not going to be happy about that, are they? Just imagine they're going to take out their frustrations next week. Get your scores in, guys. What did you think of the show? I give it a seven. It was fine. Nothing that spectacular. But get your scores in. There we go. I think they're going to close out the show by both holding up that World Cup trophy. Miz putting a bit of cake on the face of Shane. These two are BFFs. They're BFFs forever. Right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, there will be a lot of Royal Rumble videos, probably. I'm feeling a Royal Rumble vibe at the moment, of course. Uh, so there'll be lots of those kind of things coming up onto the channel. Um, so, yeah, enjoy 205 Live. And I will see you again next week for the live streams. Bye for now.